Good morning. My name is Marcus. I'm one of your mediators today. I also have a co-mediator whose name is Mackenzie. Hello and welcome to this mediation session. Thanks for coming. I want to start off by explaining what the mediation process is, our role as mediators, and the ground rules for this session. First, if you don't mind introducing yourself by name. Hi, my name is Mark. Hi, I'm Bree. Good. Thank you. And again, welcome. To start, let me say that mediation is a voluntary and confidential process for dispute resolution that allows each of you to talk openly about why you're here and to help you come up with ideas and options for resolving your concerns. As your mediators, we are here to help guide you to a mutually agreeable solution. We are going to work hard to be fair and impartial. Also, this process is private and confidential. Should this dispute go to court, neither of us could be called as witnesses. Yes, thank you all for coming today. It is important that we have all the decision makers that need to be present today. Is everyone here that needs to be here? Additionally, does anyone have any time restrictions? Are we prepared to be here until we resolve this dispute? Yeah, I'm all good. Sure, no problem. Finally, we'll be taking notes today. The notes are here to help facilitate a dialogue with you. The notes will be destroyed after the session. Let's start with you, Mark. Can you tell us more why you're here today? Oh yeah, I'll tell you what's up. And after I do, you'll see Coach Bree is pay playing favorites. She coaches my daughter's high school basketball team. And my daughter is so good at basketball. She's always been a starter in every team she's played on. She's had a basketball on her hands since she was two, for crying out loud. She can drain it from absolutely everywhere. But Coach Bree only plays her during garbage time when the game has already been decided. She has no idea what she's doing. My daughter is the best player on the team. Okay. We've heard from Mark. Now, Bree, can you tell us why you're here? Sure. I coach girls varsity basketball at Sanford High. I've been coaching there for over 20 years. We have won nine conference championships and even won states back in 2012. So I know how to coach. Come on, that was a bogus championship. That's when Sanford was in Class D. Now you're in Class B and you're winning way over your head. Basketball is basketball. It doesn't matter what level you coach. If you coach in Class D, you can coach in Class B. And I coach winning teams. Let's get back on track. Bree, tell us a little bit more in detail why you are here today. Oh, yeah. So, Mark's daughter, Sanaya, is a freshman. She's a good basketball player, but I have six seniors on the team and a few more juniors. They're all very good players. She doesn't get as much playing time as she might be used to, and I admit that. But she's just not as skilled as the other players. I can't play everyone. What do you mean she isn't skilled? Ha! Huh. She's the best player on the team. Listen, I was an All-State player in Maine, played in college, and I'm going to coach All-Star teams. I know a good player when I see one. Sienna's a great basketball player. It's you who can't recognize that. Your team stinks anyway, and that's because you stink as a coach. Well, you stink as a parent. Mark, Bree, hold on. Time out. Your feelings are a little hot right now, but let's get back to why we're here. Mark, you're saying that you think Sienna should be playing more, more than she is, and it sounds like maybe you think Coach Bree is playing favorites. Did I get that right? She's playing favorites. I could see how this is frustrating to you and to Sienna because she's used to playing more often. And from what you're telling me, she's used to playing as a starter, right? It sounds like you think Sienna is a great basketball player, but because she's a freshman and maybe not as experienced as some of the other players, she's not getting as much playing time. I can imagine how hard it could be to play everyone in every game the same amount of time. It's hard. I owe it to the upperclassmen who are good enough to play to get them into the game. As Tanaya gets older, I'm sure she'll play more, but I need her to work hard and earn her position, not just think she deserves it because everyone keeps telling her she's good. Well, I can see your point. She's actually not used to playing against older players. Mark, what could Bree do that would work for you, and how might it help? Well, yeah, maybe she could play in more non-league games. The season is long. 
We played 22 games. We do have some non-conference games coming up. I could maybe get Sanaya more playing time in those games so she can gain more experience. Well, that's encouraging. Is it possible for her to play on the junior varsity games so she gets more game time experience as well? Yes, and I'm sure Sanaya will play more in those games. Oh, now that's a great idea. She could play in junior varsity games, which would get her more game experience and get her ready to play more next year on the varsity team. Great. It sounds like we're making some progress. We have a few options how to get Sienna more playing time. Those include playing her more in non-league games and having her play more in junior varsity games. Did I miss anything? I would also like insurance that Mark won't be yelling at me during the games and won't confront me after every single game. Mark, what do you think about this suggestion? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. I guess I should tone it down and be a better role model to Sienna. Good, so in addition to Sienna playing more junior varsity games and non-league games, Mark, you are willing to be respectful of Bree while she is coaching and not being confrontational after games. Is that correct? Yes, I think that's everything. Okay, let's write up the agreement. You both did well to overcome your frustrations with one another and to come to an agreement that works for both of you. Is there anything else you would like to say to us or to each other? You helped me understand why Bree plays some players more than my daughter. Thanks for helping us resolve our differences. Thank you for helping us find a solution. Great job today and good luck to Sienna, Mark, and the rest of your team, Bree. Thank you.